The Winchester rifle was accurate to 200 yards and could fire nine bullets without reloading. The Colt and the Winchester were so effective that they were dubbed the guns that won the West. Guns were developing fast, but bullet technology was changing too. Invented in 1883, a totally new type of bullet, made of lead, but now partially covered in a copper jacket. They were known as full metal jackets. The copper was much harder and so held its shape better when exposed to the ferocious heat inside the barrel. You could use a more powerful charge, giving faster speeds and better accuracy. The bullet had come of age, essentially the same basic design as exists today. Things were moving fast. In just over 300 years, ballistics developed from a musket firing three shots a minute with a range of 100 yards to the Maxim machine gun. 600 bullets a minute with an effective range of half a mile. In the 20th century, this technology proved itself in the deadliest conflicts of our time. But rate of fire is only part of the story. The most effective bullet is a bullet that stops the target in just one shot. But there are circumstances when it's better to wound the enemy rather than kill them. That's the view of wound ballistics expert, Dr. Martin Fackler. From a military environment, one of the theories is that wounding is better than killing the enemy. Because if you wound the enemy, then he must be hauled off the battlefield and a person who's got his hands full of stretcher can't be shooting back at you. But in urban law enforcement, things are very different. The ultimate bullet should allow you to shoot an assailant, ideally without them shooting back. They call it the one-shot stop. But this is a last resort. Police only shoot to save the life of an officer or innocent bystanders. And that usually happens at short range. The average police shooting in the United States occurs at uh, 10 feet or less. At that range, wounding is not enough. The officer must instantly stop a perpetrator from firing back. They'll break into a room and, and people there will have arms and they'll be facing them at uh, 10 or 15 feet and they'll be shooting back at the policeman. The most effective shot, if, if, the, if it could be made, would be a, a shot in the head. This would be most likely to incapacitate. But in the heat of close combat, a head may be moving and hard to hit. So police training says, aim for the body's center of mass. Though sometimes, even that is not enough. Even the best shot that goes right in the middle of the uh, center of mass and, and goes through the heart cannot be counted upon to stop that person immediately. A person who has his heart penetrated by a bullet could well keep shooting for 20 seconds. Because severely injuring a person's heart does not stop his brain from thinking until it's finally starved of oxygen. So what bullet is the best for a one-shot stop? That depends on the type of gun. For police work, the handgun is the weapon of choice. Handguns and bullets come in different sizes, measured by the caliber, the diameter of the bullet. This is measured in either American inches or in the European metric system. The 9 millimeter, a German caliber, is 0.35 of an inch in diameter. The 45 is American and 0.45 of an inch in diameter. In law enforcement, both types of weapons are popular. When it comes to the stopping power of handguns, size really does matter. The difference between uh, the 9 millimeter and the 45, of course, is diameter of the bullet.
So the 45 is double the mass of the 9 millimeter bullet. The bigger the bullet, the bigger the impact, the bigger the hole. But the bullet design is also crucial. Most handgun bullets are either round nose or hollow point. The round nose is a traditional full metal jacket bullet made to create a bigger hole in the target. The hollow point has a concave depression cut into the tip designed to fragment into pieces. But which has the greater stopping power? The most effective bullet doesn't just punch right through the target. It creates serious internal damage. Let's take to the shooting range to see how each bullet performs. First, the round nose bullet. The round nose penetrates the target and goes right through, leaving a clean exit hole. If this was a bad guy, he'd probably still be firing at the police officer. Next, a hollow point bullet. Watch the container on the left. The bullet totally destroys the target. On the streets, a hollow point gives the officer more chance of stopping the criminal with one shot. The hollow point expands on impact to almost three times its size. The expanding effect means that the bullet dumps its power inside the body, damaging more tissue than a normal round nose bullet. The hollow point is commonly used as an anti-personnel round. It's designed to damage more tissue by opening up similar to a flower, so it has a larger wound channel. A larger wound means a greater chance of hitting an organ, cutting nerves, or severing an artery, and so stopping the target. This is state-of-the-art in hollow point bullet technology. The Ranger Talon. When it hits flesh, it expands, exposing razor-sharp edges that slice through soft tissue. Its efficiency can make it the safest option. Fewer shots need to be fired to stop a target, and less shots fired mean less chance of hitting a bystander. That stopping power makes the hollow point the best handgun bullet. But in close quarter combat, it can't compete with the brute force of a weapon that guarantees the bad guy is unlikely to be firing back. That weapon's the shotgun. It's certainly not the perfect weapon. Its smooth barrel, like a musket, makes it inaccurate over all but the shortest distances. But at close range, it can blow the bad guys away. The shotgun is the weapon commonly carried by the average uniform patrol officer in their car. One buckshot cartridge fires nine pellets at one time, which is roughly the equivalent of being struck by nine nine millimeter bullets all at the same time. Unlike a solid bullet, each shotgun cartridge holds multiple lead pellets, which spread out as they leave the barrel. It's kind of the equivalent of picking up a handful of rocks and throwing them. Shotgun cartridges can carry many different types of shot. From a round with dozens of lead balls designed to bring down a bird, to a cartridge whose one solid slug can stop the target dead in its tracks. The most common law enforcement cartridge holds buckshot, nine separate balls. The range demonstrates the shotgun's impact. First, the buckshot into a two-inch hunk of wood. The wood's no obstacle at all, and the buckshot peppers the water tank behind it. But if you think that's devastating, wait for the slug. Straight through the wood, and the water container is history. A shotgun slug literally turns the shotgun into a rifle. Proper sighting system on a shotgun, uh, the slug is effective out to 100, 150 yards. It's a very large projectile. In a 12 gauge, you're looking at an ounce and a half of lead traveling at about 1,250 feet per second. Uh, it hits like a sledgehammer. 